You four are heroes, veritable champions in your own right. Wrong. Walking a rarely trodden path by the early morning light of a cloudy day. I know Chili ain't right that shit. That's a fact. <laughs> Just imagine yourself on this rarely trodden path by the early morning light of a cloudy day. Bright hues of young blooming flowers punctuating the sea of early spring green that rises on either side of this winding dirt path. Among the these oh, among, among us, us. Among us. <laughs> <laughs> Among the Among four heroes walks the brave and honest paladin Ivan. Again, very generous description. <laughs> what the f Chili what? really did not write this. I'm a paladin? Paladin, paladin your mom. Oh, I was the say cunning that, and oh veritable fighter Curtis. Fighter? fighter. <laughs> okay. The dashing yet devilish bard Christian. Bard? Oh, that's pretty sick. And the deadly assassin Denise. Why Denise? Um, ever vigilant, you guys carefully watching on the horizon. You maintain a steady pace as you return towards the small market town of Thalon. Just a day earlier, your wit and brawn has brought you victory over a dreadful owl bear that had threatened the town for months on an end. Owl bear? What's we that? fought an owl bear in a whole owl. owl bear, yes. Now you seek their just rewards for this great deed. In the late hours of the morning, you guys walk through the wooded path to the town of Thalin. An unsettling feeling descends upon you. People. Sorry. Not what do guys, you mean, you people. people. <laughs> you guys can either rush into the town or search the area. Town. Search the area. Go to town. Go I to town. Vibe check the area. As you wander through town, you find hurried footprints that abruptly end, but few obvious signs of a fight. There are no mm. weapons or bodies on the ground. Okay, this is some magic mm -hmm. shit. The buildings are in good order, and there is no great congregation Ooh. of footprints like at the site of a battle. Can so, we loot? That's uh, your first yeah, concern. Can we not that we're yeah. in quite we a lot of loot? trouble. Not that we're in quite that is a the lot assassin. of trouble. This is what the area looks like. <laughs> Damn, you went hard for this scenario. <laughs> no, I didn't write this. Damn, you could have just taken a credit, bro. Negative eight intelligence. Uh, That's crazy. <laughs> I'm not I could never do this. Okay. <laughs> you may either head to the tavern where you got your quest, your original quest, I guess, for the owl oh, uh, we're bear, in a quest. or okay. search the marketplace. Let's go to the tavern. I feel like if, if the they tavern. are there, they might have more information. What are those seltzers looking tavern? like in the BC areas? <laughs> You approach the Black Eagle Tavern, a well-loved watering hole that was known throughout the realm. Merchants, mercenaries, and adventurers had for decades congregated to the grand chestnut tables and chestnut. roaring fires of this tavern's chestnut. halls. Only two Shut days up. prior, you Are had you accepted uh, God, their yeah. bounty from a well-off merchant named Livy to slay the owl bear. As you push open the doors to the tavern, a creek echoes through the once lively halls. In the distance, the last embers of the once warm fire crackle of the once warm fire fire crackle quietly. You got it. Yo, yo, it's funny because she's fucking up on crackle. <laughs> <laughs> the, the tavern itself is in disarray. Drinks and food are spilt on the floor while tables and chairs are overturned. Ooh, free food. Uh, you may make a wisdom check to search the tavern and or a dexterity check to try and break into the rooms of former tavern goers. Let me do this. I'm going to do some whiz smart stuff. Okay, okay. Why, do, why do right. wisdom even first. wisdom? I wisdom, D20. Solid roll. Solid roll, everybody. So you search the tavern over completely, finding two treasures buried amid the chaotic scene. Ooh. First, you find a scroll cast onto the ground that outlines the disappearance of a merchant convoy three days ago. Still resting on a table, you also find a ring of strength, which grants we went plus through two this strength. Before. Let's buff up the. Actually, you know what? I can't roll! <laughs> give it a ring. Give it a ring. Current, yeah, yeah, okay. give it a ring. Give it a ring. strength is now plus six. Who will perform the dexterity check? 18. My God, y'all cheating. You are able to open all of the doors. You receive all the items in the common rooms, as well as a journal from a monster hunter that talks about rumors of an unusual beholder in the area and 
a ruby ring that protects against Ooh. petrification. I want the ring. The items that you guys get are fine clothes, jewelry, journals, and tools. And you find a long sword, which deals a certain amount of damage and uses strength. And a hunting bow, which deals an amount of damage and uses dexterity. Give me a bow. Give Kurt, Kurt the all sword. the stuff. Um, if I use strength in my stat, then I should probably get the strength shit. So yeah, give me that strength shit. You also uh pick up a potion of healing, and then who wants to wear the ruby the drip, ring please. that protects against petrification? Me. Only one person yeah, can. Who the most me. useless? Me. Them. Ivan. The healer needs to be aware at all times. Give Protect. me the ring. You really are a healer. As you walk back out onto the main road through town, you catch a glimpse of a figure just on the edge of the woods. The figure is still and illuminated Damn, by an figure. errant ray of light <laughs> that punctures the overcast clouds. As you move to investigate, you find. A lot of big find... words for chili. <laughs> yeah, like figure. <laughs> figure and overcast. Figure. You find a stone visage of a terrified merch merchant man, totally petrified. In the distance further uh, into the woods, you spot another similar statue, ominously positioned in the direction that this one is staring. As you descend further into the woods, you find statue after statue of the townspeople, each statue facing the next one on their trail. You pass a dozen statues before finding yourselves in a dark and ominous clearing in the woods. Huge glowing mushrooms surround the perimeter of a deep black water bog. Croaks of frogs and wisps of bugs hum through the air, which itself is hum? heavy with the stench of rot. Hum. 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 Yes, sir. I heard a pee there. Then, in an instant, you see a searing red beam blast towards you, cutting one of the mushrooms in half on its approach. We're fighting Kermit the Frog? <laughs> Emerging from the woods are four Hi, massive Mercurio. floating eyes lined with raptor scales. A gnarly red aura emanate, emanates from gnarly. their pupils as they hover just feet above the ground. You are now in combat with raptor beholders. They can't do shit. No. Bro, they can't I can't Where the fuck fight. is Chili Panda? The raptor looks at Kurt and goes, I'm Kermit the Frog. <laughs> Kristen. Blistering insult. Blistering insult. Oh, yeah. okay. Insult one of the raptors, please. I go up to the raptor and go, damn, let me see your spreadsheet. Grab it from his small ass hand. I go, negative four charisma. No wonder you will be holder. How about you? Behold some bitches. <laughs> okay, so the creature Behold must roll a d20 plus their charisma stat. If it's less than 14, they'll take six psychic damage. I rolled a 14. So, one raptor, dead. <laughs> Yo, he died from your insults. No bitches. <laughs> you said he got no bitches, <laughs> then he dead, bro. died. <laughs> so then the raptor turns to Kurt. What the and... fuck? Oh, he, he killed your homie, white man. <laughs> I have no easy, though. Next, That's slight work. What? The raptor decides to use beam of lava. The raptor misses. So, Kurt, you're up. Huh, pussy. Anyway. <laughs> Kurt does not move <laughs> at all. I'm sure we can one hit kill with a great sword attack. So I'm gonna go ahead uh, do a great sword. Roll and then add your strength. Oh, which is six, by the way. Okay. Rolling. Oh shit. Okay, dead ass. Eighteen. Now roll a d12 to determine how much you hit. I got a six. Oh, nice. Okay, so the second raptor is killed. Wow. Good shit. How much exp do we get? Um, zero. Anyway. <laughs> so what the. Fuck. With the last raptor killed, you guys get nothing. Not even you chili guys. <laughs> You're able to forge onwards, and more statues guide you further and further into the woods. Your mom. A final <laughs> encounter. As you continue further into the woods, the forest floor starts to show signs of scarring. Large cracks in the soil line the ground, and increasingly, the soil is brittle and dry. A distinct heat rises from just below the soil as fewer and fewer trees surround you. Uh, still, the statues beckon you further and further in search of answers. This is what it looks like where you guys are at. Oh, the lava fields of Barney the Beholder. I wonder what we're gonna fight. Oh my God. I wonder what it is. <laughs> 
Soon you stand in a barren field surrounded by cracked and ragged ground. Surrounded by in crack. the distance, you see. <laughs> in the surrounded distance. By crack. <laughs> I smell oh it. In the distance, you see one final statue. This time of Libby, the merchant that gave you the quest to slay the owl bear. As you approach the statue, the heat from the ground grows more pronounced. Suddenly, a deafening roar emerges from beneath you as lava spews from the cracks I in the ground. I need to be immersed. Can you do the roar? Yeah, do the roar. Do the roar. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a good roar. That a uh, that's a good roar. In an instant, the land around you is reduced to seas of lava, punctuated by small patches of barren ground. You hastily hop onto one such patch, the same one where Livy's statue stands. Then, the sound of flowing lava is cut by a deep, bellowing laughter emerging from the lava. Do the laughter. Please do the laughter. <laughs> 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 Emerging from the lava is a wicked skeletal figure jacked beyond real belief. In an instant, you recognize the creature as its skeletal face contorts into an unmistakably familiar smile. Rising from the hell below is Buff Barney the Beholder. It's Barney? God damn it. You are now it's in combat with Barney. I will now share Barney's stance. Oh my god, 20 HP? This boy is thick. That's I think. Wisdom oh. negative four, dumbass. Barney turns to, who goes first? Kurt. Barney turns to Kurt. Wait, he's hitting me first? Hey, hey, hey. And swipes at him with his claws. So, rolling a D20. It's only best because I have no, the, make him do seductive I have the most the armor. I have the most armor. Barney swipes at Kurt and misses his face by just an inch. <laughs> is it really? No way. Wait, you actually OP, what? Out of spite, Barney turns to Ivan and gives him a seductive allure. Yo, that this attack is just you taking off your clothes if it works. Apparently, Barney needs some lessons in flirting because he Yo, fails he me. Barney needs to stay dead, bro. bro. How you bones and you not gonna get boned like this? Okay, you are up. Okay, um, let's give everyone a buff. Let's go uh, Master Detective. Roll d20 plus your wisdom tat if you're to master detective, master wisdom tat. aka Dongan Rampa streamer. Yes, uh, <laughs> I played Dongan Rampa for 34 hours. Yeah, and add your wisdom tat right, and have so to be greater than 12. Okay. Ooh, 17. Good shit. 17? What are you doing? Okay. Shit, bro. Hell so yeah. I was kind of scared. I was like, yeah, this could actually fuck up pretty easily. <laughs> everyone Girl. gets plus three hits. Ouchies. Ivan, you are up. You're I want to do sword and buckler. I want to do sword and buckler. Okay, roll d20 and add your dexterity. 17. Okay, so now roll a d6 to determine how much damage you do. Oh, please give me the six. Oh, shit. Let's okay. fucking go. Oh, no. shit. Three, oh, go. shit. You, about time you pulled oh, your weight, bitch. Oh, shit. <laughs> so Barney hit. gets hit with a uh, nine HP and it's nine. left. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh. we got this in the bag. And it's left yeah, with this is the breeze. Yeah, I'm gonna skip my turn just because no, we got this. Then. <laughs> Ooh, let's go. Uh, I would like to just gaze. My whole thing is just gazing. <laughs> Do the Fortnite. Just gaze. Gaze. Yeah, yeah. Then keep looking at him through the box. I got a 14. Den peeks out of her box and glares at Barney and gives her a terrifying gaze. <laughs> Barney just feeling at you so at intimidating and gets be hit by four, which brings him to seven. Um, Barney's next attack will be minus four. Christian, you are up. I ask him a caustic question. Okay, so you're oh. No! <laughs> this is not, we no. said PG! I, I no. retreat. <laughs> this is I not go back PG. in my box. So everyone thinks you <laughs> oh, <laughs> PG! Oh my god! Shit! All right, damn. Is PG it so questions? hard to be PG <laughs> for Christian? Yeah. There's a trolley going on a track to kill one person. Or fuck it, never mind. Is cereal soup? <laughs> 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 Barney looks at Christian very confused and not understanding what's happening. Christian, roll your d20. Oh my god. Uh, 13. 13? Okay. Barney's moves is skipped. 
Kurt, you're up then. Is that are you do the same move? Yeah, um Great sword. Let's go. Okay, roll D twenty first. Seven. Oh shit. Okay. What? Kurt, Is that a good oh shit or a bad oh shit? Kurt approaches Barney. Uh oh. Am I good? He no! swings first with his great sword. Even though he's wielding two swords, he only needed the great sword. And with one swing, oh my God. slices Barney's head oh, off his body. Oh, 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 yes. yes. Barney collapses to the ground. Let's go. So, Let's go. With one heroic attack, Barney the Beholder is sent cascading backward, his bones disintegrating into embers and falling into the hellish lava below. Steadily, the cracked ground reseals itself, hiding away the hellscape that Barney brought with him. At last, with the ground healed, the accursed spell of the Beholder is lifted, and the statues return to their mortal forms. As the villagers return to the Fallon Marketplace, they prepare a grand feast to celebrate you! I want Woo! money! And I guess you guys got paid, I guess. How much yes. did you get paid? Wow. What do you think? Paid? DM. Recreo out. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this video. And as always, a big special thanks to our Patreons, Rinamu, Plague Doctor 1984, Calvin Duong, Crafty Mail, The Sub Animator, Matthew Hennis, Barnesinator, and Drew Warnes. Thank you guys for all your support. We seriously, seriously appreciate it. And we will see you guys in the next one. Bye.